Watching East Midlands today here on the BBC and a woman says that her mother's life was saved by a sprinkler system that was installed at her home by firefighters. Yes, the uh, Derbyshire Fire and Rescue Service thought Vanessa Snowden could be at risk after they paid her a routine visit. Months later, they were proved right, as Kylie Pentelow reports. Jody cares for her mother, but when a cigarette started a fire in a bin, it was the care of local firefighters that saved Vanessa's life. Just months before, they'd installed this misting system used for those who they think are most vulnerable. Um, my mum's had two strokes, um, so she struggles to get around, limited speech, um, she can't do steps or anything like that. So. If she did need to try and get out of the house, the back door she wouldn't be able to do, and it takes her about five minutes to get to the front door. So if the fire was in the middle, she'd have had no chance of getting out. It may not look like much, but this pumps out 110 litres of water. There are only seven of them in Derbyshire, costing £2,000 each, a small price, the chief says, for a life. As far as I'm concerned, that lady is alive today as a result of the action that we took, working in partnership with Derbyshire County Council. Uh, we were able to fund such a system. But the Derbyshire service want to take it even further. They're campaigning heavily to get sprinklers fitted in every new home. I can categorically say to anybody that if you install domestic sprinklers, you're reducing the risks associated with that fire uh, dramatically. There has not been a fatality in any home that's fitted with domestic sprinklers. Since 2010, 28 people have died in house fires in Derbyshire, the last death earlier this month. We've had some terrible tragedies in Derbyshire over the last few years, particularly when children die. These are situations that we don't want to expose anybody to. And again, I come back to domestic sprinklers. This will stop people dying in their homes. Jodie is glad that her mum was one of the lucky ones. Kylie Pentelow, BBC East Midlands Today, Long Eaton.